and then you just follow they allow you to have this little bit here some farmers don't they want you to walk around the edge now but yeah some interesting stones lying around striated one there that's probably been hit by a blade of a off a tractor that one they've been churned up helps um, keep drainage in the soil by having stones by the way you might think oh they're, they're, they've got a they've got a purpose and of course when you come through here when I had my shorts on in the summer you know you and, and the, the the crop is sort of six foot high coming through it I've got it on video And there's a slightly different lean to a walk I've got to do to get back to this village where I'm going to get the bus. Um, I want to do it because I've seen I've seen it marked, and um, otherwise I'll have to go back the track that I do know back down to this particular village. I don't know if it's called Westbury Submendip. I can't remember actually. It might not be that. That could be a village somewhere else. I can't remember its name, tell the truth. I haven't brought a map today. I'm having a lovely, lovely day. I really am. Out in the beautiful Somerset countryside, and look, you're up on the rougher areas, and then you come to the arable. And you've got no fear of animals here. You know, this is the relaxing bit, really. When you know you might... I mean, when you've been chased, believe me, it does change things for you. It isn't a joke. Um, you could be killed. I mean, you know, even though I was keeping to myself, I've never threatened the cows or anything, and I didn't have a dog. They just decide if one, they're after you. I'm, I'm, they've probably had a bad time, and I don't hold them responsible, by the way. I don't hold the cows responsible. They've probably had a bad experience. Hi! Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute now. Take some pictures.